Hi everyone, Linda Heldman here for Canadian Beats. I have with me on the phone East Coast girl out in currently in Saskatoon, Rosanna from the band Hillsburn. Welcome, Rosanna. Thank you, Linda. Thank you so much. So, how are things out in Saskatoon today? They're they're quite good today. We uh, we've done a crazy thing and we drove here from. Halifax. We left on Monday morning, and we did it in three days. It's sixteen or seventeen hours of driving a day. Um, so we slept in today and had some food, and we're we're feeling a little bit more relaxed. But it was a pretty crazy three days. <laughs> awesome. And then here's me calling you at eleven o'clock your time, one o'clock here, but it would be two o'clock at home. Yeah. So, yeah. Very confusing. <laughs> very confusing. All right. Well. Um, for those who don't know, Hillsburn is an East Coast band with a very unique sound. You just won the East Coast Music Awards for Fan Choice Video of the Year. For your yeah, pretty wild. <laughs> yeah, now that was for your song Rundown. Um, tell us a bit about that. It must have been a wonderful experience. Well, it was it was pretty wild. We were nominated for three awards, and uh, that was the one that we thought we had the least chance of winning. So when the first two were announced, we said, okay, great, no need to worry, didn't win anything, all good, now we can just enjoy ourselves and not be too worried. And then we, we did win it, and we kind of all looked at each other and said, uh-oh, like, what do we do? Because there's some, some pretty, like, well-known and big names in that category. Mm -hmm. So we're like, well, I guess we have to accept it. <laughs> people have been uh, receptive and, and and supportive enough to make that happen. So we're very, feeling pretty encouraged by it. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I'm so glad that they streamed it, that I could watch it <gasps> online. So I actually saw, and your faces were kind of like, wow, we really just won this award? <laughs> totally. <laughs> and that was real. We were like, uh-oh. Uh <laughs> <laughs> well, it's, it's well worth it. It's, it's great. I had the pleasure of talking with you and the band at the at the, the 2016 Canadian Music Week. And yeah, I guess that was a little while ago now. It, yeah. And I have to say, of all the interviews I did that week, you guys were the most fun. You're crazy. You just, it was just so much fun. I just love oh, you guys. Oh, I'm so glad that you had fun. <laughs> we did too. We're, we're, uh, we spend a lot of time, just the five of us, and we kind of forget how wild and kind of ridiculous we are and then we get around other people we're like uh-oh they're gonna know our secret <laughs> and then of course no, it was fun. and then of course there's nigel who who i've come to know actually through uh heather rankin as well i was very surprised right, I, yeah yeah i was i was did an interview with heather and there he was it's like oh my goodness <laughs> so I was, he's everywhere he is he is he's great it's like so how's hillsburn doing <laughs> so we were catching yeah. up it was all good it was all good He's coming, he's coming out west next week to meet us for the rest of our tour. Awesome, awesome. Mm -hmm. uh, I was going to talk about the tour later, but since we're on it now, let's continue talking. You have a really busy summer. Mm-hmm, we do. You just did a we, whole bunch of dates down east. Yeah, we kind of did a bunch of weekend shows uh, close to home, and we've just gotten to Saskatoon, and we're going to be out here for playing shows for two weeks before we head home. We're playing shows between here in Saskatoon and uh, Vancouver. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. That is awesome. Yeah. And there's one in particular that you're kind of excited about, right? The Vancouver Folk Festival? Oh, yes. I was like, that, is that the one that I just talked about? Yeah. Vancouver Folk Festival is going to be really awesome. awesome. And uh, I think that we're playing in the, the day before, we're playing in Harrison Hot Springs, which I, I'm really excited about, too. Great. Great. Now, yeah, so we've never been, actually. We've never been that far. Uh, we just played. Last summer, we went as far as Jasper, Alberta. But mm -hmm. BC is the first time this year, so we're, we're feeling excited about that. That's great. That's great. My mm -hmm. only disappointment about your tour dates is there is nothing in Ontario. I know, I know. We're 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 saving it until until the the summer is over, and then we're gonna make some plans and come back. Okay, okay. Don't worry, we're coming. Good, good. Well, you got to come through Sudbury on the way back home, right? That's true, but we have to be back for a show in Halifax, so we don't have time to play any shows. <laughs> <laughs> we always do things the insane way. <laughs> well, well, you know, I'm thinking you can at least you know send me a message and say, hey, we'll be in town approximately this time, and we can at least meet at Tim Hortons for a coffee. It's true, and we'll sing you a song. Okay. Hey, perfect. 
<laughs> Tim Hortons. Yeah, we impromptu were, we were, acoustic. We were planning on flying out here, but uh, we bought a van this week and ended up having to drive it out. But we had a show at home on Sunday, so we had to do it in three days. Oh, anyway, it's all, it's all very ridiculous. Great, great. <laughs> now, you just released a new single called mm-hmm. Sun Ought to Shine, which I saw mm-hmm. the, the video for that. And what a powerful song. Just beautiful. Tell oh, us. thank you, Linda. That's so nice. That's so nice. We're really excited about that song. Um, we did the video with a, a videographer out in Halifax. Well, actually, he just moved to Toronto. His name is Matt Barkley, and he's got a company called Bad Fun Media. And he's just a young guy, and he's just so good. He's so good. Every video that he does is amazing. And we were so lucky to be able to work with him again. And we were so excited about how the video turned out. And it's a... Uh, yeah, we're just all around feeling very good about that video. <laughs> great, great. So is this kind of set the tone for the album that's coming out in the fall? Yeah, so that song will be on the album, but it will be uh, a different version of it. Um, we've got a horn section and a string section on it, so it'll be a lot bigger sounding. Wow. We're, so we're really, yeah, we're really excited about that. We, we, we decided to release the live version just to before we got the the full one done um and then listening to them back to back i'm, I'm really excited for people to hear the, the album version because it's it's got so much more going on wow that's great mm-hmm. that's great and this will be yeah your... we're actually in the hotel right now um listening to mixes of the new album because paul flew out to meet us this morning um because he's been working on mixing the the album to get it ready for mastering this week so that's we're kind of doing two or three things at once right now (laughs) (laughs) multitasking it's a good thing yeah yeah well this is great because you as a band haven't been together that long it's only been three years it's uh yeah this summer it'll be three years that's wild yeah yeah with claire with claire our, our drummer um we've only been together for about a year and a half so it all it's it's hard to remember that when you're when you're pushing and grinding and playing all the time every day Mm -hmm. to remember that it is still what we're doing is still a baby it's Mm -hmm. still very fresh and very new and lots of people don't know about it um but yeah it's you're you're totally right it's very new Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and how cool is it to have a female drummer oh it's fabulous (laughs) she's so good she is she's so good i was just listening to the uh one of the tracks on the new album that's that's got a lot of drums in it it's just it's just so epic she's just so good and i'm so excited <laughs> how good is yeah. she she's so good oh so good <laughs> there's yeah. that there's that hillsburn enthusiasm and totally yes <laughs> and it's not just you you're all like that like, i know you, we're, just... we're all pretty over the top it's true right <laughs> i guess awesome. it works out though to spend a lot of time together. We don't get sick of each other that much. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I, I'm just doing a quick peek. Uh, what are your plans for Canada today? We're actually playing uh, in up way up in northern Saskatchewan at a festival in a place called La Range, which is just a stretch of road. Uh, I don't even really know where it is. I just know it's in northern Saskatchewan. And it's just a festival that's a two-day festival that happens in the woods, and we're going to go play there. Wow. It's called Napatak Ramble. That's okay. I just found that on the list. Yes. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Cool. So we'll see. I'll have cool. an update after it. Great. I'm sure it'll be fun. Post pictures, because at least one from the stage, because I'm sure it'll be crazy. Oh, yeah. We, we post lots of pictures. <laughs> We got lots of celebrating to do for this Canada 150. Yeah, yeah. So, speaking of Canada Day, what is your favorite thing about being a Canadian? Oh, that's a tough one. I I have a hard time with with the with the Canada Day. Just especially this year, I've been finding it hard because of all of the the land that has been. Um, you know, all the, all the discussions about uh, Native land and stuff. It's, mm-hmm. it's just like a, it's tough to find the balance with celebrating being a Canadian and also remembering that a lot of people, you know, are struggling with this um, and are not feeling like it's a celebration for them. Mm-hmm. Uh, so I, I always try to find a balance between those two. And I maybe don't know if I have, but I think just being aware that for not, it's not a celebration for everybody. And, and for me, I think being a Canadian is, is just like, 
uh, living in a, in a community and a city and a place where I feel that I belong. I think that's that's the biggest part for me. That's what I celebrate is is having having a place where I feel comfortable and safe, um, and having a community that supports me. I think, and that I think that's what everybody wants. And I think that you know, lots of people in Canada can have that, and that's nice. Yes, great. But yeah, it's it's a uh, yeah. It, there's always a trying to find a balance between all of those things. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. Sorry, I went on a little rant. There. Oh, that's okay. That's okay. <laughs> And this is a question I've been throwing out to bands lately, just uh, just to get some interesting stories. Do you have a favorite fan interaction that has happened with the band so far? A favorite band interaction or fan, fan interaction? Fan interaction. Oh, that's tough. Um, I think the greatest thing, and it's not one thing, but it's just been traveling around and making friends with the people who are into our music. That it's it's like when we we played in PEI this weekend, and there was like ten people there who I would consider my like a, a friend of mine that I realized I only knew through Hillsburn because they had been to see us so many times. So I was like, that's so awesome, and you get to do that all across the country. Mm-hmm. I think that's my favorite part, just like meeting so many cool people and having them be into what you're doing and supporting you and basically they do anything for you they put you up in their house they feed you meals you know buy tickets to your shows buy your t-shirts and your cds like it's just so nice people are so encouraging here it's so awesome great great i love that i love that well you know we at canadian beats love you as a band we support you and we'll continue to do that in you know i know we're only halfway through 2017 but when the new album really appreciate that it means a lot to us when the new album comes out I know somebody on the team will definitely be giving it a review and that's great. I will let you go, but I thank you so very much for talking with me this morning. And oh, my absolute pleasure. You have a great time this weekend and for the rest of your time out West before you head back and send me a text when you're coming through Sudbury because <laughs> we will meet up for a coffee as long as it's not like three or four o'clock in the morning. <laughs> Okay, well, we've been speaking with Rosanna from the band Hillsburn, and I'm Linda Heldman for Canadian Beats.